Hello guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is another video of instrument control using LabVIEW. Uh, actually, one of my friend was uh, trying to take measurement unit using nano voltmeter, and uh, uh, he wanted to save data in CSV file. Uh, in last video, I have shown to take measurement, but just forget to save data. Uh, so I thought this might be important for some of you. So today's purpose is to take measurement using nano voltmeter and save data in CSV file. Uh, so for I am turning camera. Okay, this is my setup. Uh, this is the nano voltmeter uh, which I am trying to operate using LabVIEW, and uh, I have connected this nano voltmeter uh, using GPIB with my computer. And uh, for programming part, I am just going to share my screen. Okay, uh, so I need a Visa palette. Uh, this this one. Uh, then I need to write Visa open and then Visa close. After that, I will need visa write and visa read. This is uh, all uh, for controlling an instrument using GPIB. And I have to wire all these things together. Uh, then first thing I, I would like to reset instrument so for this i have to put a command here uh, making it constant this command is really uh, used for most of the instruments for resetting and then uh, i need one more visa right i think Ah, that's okay. And uh, then I need to provide the command for uh, taking voltage measurement. So uh, I put several command in this uh, constant section. That is, first I need to select uh, measurement. So I want to measure voltage. So command will be same we have used previously. And then I need to select the channel uh, since it is a do, uh, it, its instrument is capable of measuring uh, in two channels. So I need to select the first one. And then I want to read data from first channel. And uh, bit count, uh, I, I can put it to 1000. And uh, then I need to read this buffer. So I think uh, this is done. And, uh, and then I need to select the instrument. This will be now. Then first I will check is it working or not. Oh my god. Okay. It is showing my instrument, then I will run this. And there is some error. Uh, I think this might be because of a bad command which I have read in. I will modify it. Uh, okay, this is error. Uh, I have placed wrong comma here i have placed a double inverted comma so this should be single uh, okay now i think this would work uh, 
okay it is working uh, we have some data we have some data so now we can go for the rest of part further uh, so for precise measurement uh, it is uh, you know good to take multiple measurements and uh, uh, take average value uh, using this nano voltmeter so what i will do i will just make a for loop here and uh, put the measurement window in the, in this for loop and uh, after that i just want to uh, convert this string in voltage fractional exponential string to number and uh, this one is here i will convert this string to number and uh, that i am just going to replace with shift register and i will add some more terminal some more element in this uh, like five elements okay and then i need uh, compound arithmetic <coughs> five for this and this one first second third fourth fifth so <coughs> this is sum of five measurement and then I, I have to take units, so I will divide this by 5. Uh, 5. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, voltage. Average voltage, uh, we can see. And uh, then uh, what I can do, uh, I can plot this voltage to be a form chart if, if we like. And also on the form graph. And uh, then I will connect this chart here. And then, uh, I, and I, I just want to save this data, so I will, and go in file input output write delimited spreadsheet and take this see one day data and then i will just go for uh, making control for for path selection and uh, I need to transpose this columns. It uh, constant. This one is here, and uh, I can also add this pip from graph to here. Uh, so it's okay now. Uh, this is error. So I need to run this. Uh, I need to assign the number. Uh, which we want to run this experiment so i will just put it five times i will run this experiment so let's see what happens uh, everything is okay for for my side and uh, i will just select path okay and this will be okay uh, i have to select a csv file or we can also select excel file so i will take a csv file and uh, everything is okay for this side and then i will run this measurement so see what is it is doing it is taking measurement uh, it will take measurement five times then we will have average of it and then it will save to five you can see there is some value on waveform chart and also on waveform graph 
So this experiment will be repeated five times because I have then, you know, assigned the number five. So I think it's done now. Uh, and then uh, we, we can adjust timing uh, by giving it to wait for MS. Like uh, if we want to run this experiment with the uh, delay of one second, then I have to 1000. So we can run this again. Now it will run uh, with the interval of one second. We can see uh, what data we have. So just we'll go in file uh, like uh, this is uh, this one is file, and uh, we have some measurement like this. Now uh, this data is in uh, you know column. If we want to it in row, then what we have to do is. Uh, just make it true okay then we will run this experiment again ah uh, so it's completed now let's see So this is this time we have uh, in, in column. So that's how we can take measurement using nano voltmeter. We can take precise measurement in using nano voltmeter. We can take average of some more values and we can can run experiment multiple times. We can plot different type of plots graphs uh, uh, if we like. So this is for today from my side. Thanks for watching.